Pick a Prezi going over the seven habits of highly effective teams. Okay, the seven habits of highly effective teams. I want you to start out at the beginning here um, with your title page. Okay, so this is just like when you like a book. If you have a book, it always has a title. Okay, this one says what? Super guides to soccer. All right. Anyway, same thing with us. We're going to have a title. From this, what are we going to be talking about? What are we going to be talking about? Seven you, you know what we're going to be talking about, right? You want to know what you're going to learn about in a presentation. You don't want people to be surprised by what they're learning about with a presentation. Okay? So, second, the second thing I want you to do, your, your first slide, once you get into it, will be the picture of the book because we're presenting on a book. Okay? Picture of a book, and you're going to put a quote. You do not have to use this quote. I just came up with this quote on my own. It's something we talked about. You guys remember how we talked about your life changes when your habits change earlier in the year? Okay? If you don't actually change your habits, your life isn't going to change in a positive manner. Okay? And then I want you guys to put the hyper or put the link to the book on Amazon.com. Okay? Now that's, to do that is real simple. Let me zoom out of here. Okay? All you're going to do is go to Amazon.com and copy the URL. Okay, and then once you, once you right click and you paste that in, you'll be able to go to that. Okay, and I'll make a short video over how to hyperlink and how to do animations for you guys later that you can see on the Urbana Junior High Tech blog. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. After that, we're going to start getting into each of the habits. Okay, and I want to organize those within a frame. Okay, so everything you do with, with the habits are going to be organized into a single frame. For instance, here we go. The next slide. Be proactive is the first habit that John Covey discusses in his book. Be proactive. What's being proactive mean? How many can give it a try? What's being proactive mean? You don't know? Alright, you guys remember E plus R equals O? Yes. What's that stand for? Event plus outcomes. Event plus response equals the outcome. And we wanted our response to be what? Positive. Positive, but also intentional. You guys remember that? I think I might have yelled that at you guys a few times, right? An intentional response to every event that happens, okay? Instead of impulsive. Because if you're impulsive, you make bad responses. This is very much the same. This is very similar to that principle of being proactive. Okay. Now, on this second, or on the first, or on each, I should say, of the frames that go over the seven habits, you are going to have to put some kind of animation or transition in, um, and that's simply making something appear. You guys see that? Does anybody know how to do that already? Has anybody done it on their own already? Have you done it? Okay, how do we do that then, Omri? Just add a slide. Well, add a slide, okay, it's kind of like PowerPoint, you add a slide, and then you got your animations on there, but how do I make something appear on Prezi? It's a little yeah, bit different. You have the slide before, and then you just kind of copy the slide, and what was something added into it, maybe? Um, kind of, you're, you're pretty close. All you got to do is, once you're in, in Edit Pathway, okay, if you click Edit Pathway, you'll see that the numbers pop up on it. You see how it says four? So that's how you organize your Prezi with our pathways. You see how four pops up and there's a star right there? You see that star? If you click on that star, it will allow you to add animations such as appearing, okay? So this transition we can use, I can click on the one here. All right, I got the one on there right now. Now it would not, because I clicked that off. I'm in presentation mode it just all pops up at once. By, by adding this, after I edit pathway again, okay, and clicking on that, that means that's going to pop up. And it gives it a nice little effect. Again, it'll keep people's attention a little bit better. Um, you can do that as well with, with different um, things you want people to focus on. I'll show you one of those here in a second. This all making sense to everybody. All right. I'll also, I can put a webcast video up for you guys so you can see this, and you'll be able to use the webcast video to help you understand it a little bit better. Okay, so here we go, back to the presentation. Now, since we don't have a good understanding of what proactive is, and I kind of assumed you guys would not, okay, we're going to move forward 
and explain it. Okay? Stephen, Stephen R. Covey, the guy that wrote the book, says that being proactive is the foundation of the other habits of highly effective people. Being pro proactive is the foundation. Just like we talked, E plus R equals O, an intentional response to events is the foundation of, of all the other positive habits you can have. Okay? So here we go. What does it mean though? You guys see, this is what I was talking about. Having something pop up one at a time keeps your focus right on that. You guys understand that? Okay, with all your frames as well, I don't want any more than three to five points. So this is the title of it. And give me three to five points on a slot, on a frame. Okay, if you add more than three to, three to five points on a frame, what do people start to do? They get bored, do they read it? No, because you tell me a hundred things, you don't tell me anything. You tell me two or three things, then people will listen to them, okay? The presentation needs, to, when you guys present, it needs to be you talking about those three points. Not the three points in your, or like ten points and you're reading them all. Okay? So here we go. Being proactive involves taking full responsibility for my behaviors. Taking full responsibility for my behaviors. Alright? Do, do we always do that? No? What do you guys do when you get in trouble? You what? Blame it on somebody else, right? You ever do that? No? Okay. You? Bean, you ever do that? Yeah. It, Every day. Yeah. All right. Next one. Making choices based on values, not on moods. Okay, so I value my education. Okay, you guys should value your education, right? Because you, you guys know that the taxpayers of Urbana and the state, even federal taxpayers, pay for your guys' education. You're being paid to go to school. You know, it costs money. They have to pay all those teachers. They have to pay to keep the buildings up and all that. So you should what? Value your education. That should be a value you guys have. As a teacher, even if I'm in a bad mood, I know it's my responsibility and one of my values would say I'm going to make sure I still teach that day. Alright? What do we usually do when we're in a bad mood? What do you do? You what? You snap a lot? You snap on people? Alright? Probably not a good value, right? Okay? What about you? Give me a bad mood. What do you do? Come on, bad mood. What do you do, Bean? 